What's up, Otaku Nation? This is Britt Chan with an all new review. With a special shout out to the My Anime List website. This week's anime review is Grand Blue Fantasy The Animation, a television series that premiered on the Tokyo MX station April 2nd, 2017, containing 13 episodes. 23 minutes each broadcasted on Sundays at midnight. The series has been licensed by Aniplex of America. The genres for this series fantasy. Rated PG-13 and is recommended for teens 13 or older. Produced by Aniplex and Psy Games, a company that has brought a series such as Rage of Bahamut and the highly popular Yuri on Ice. The series is based off a game of the same title, a role-playing video game developed by Psy Games for Android and iOS platforms which first released in Japan in March 2014. The game is notable for reuniting music composer Nobu Yumatsu and art director Hideo Minaba, who previously collaborated on Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy and Lost Odyssey in 2007. The series is fantasy based about a world of the skies, where many islands drift, where much like the skyscapes of James Cameron Avatar motion picture and many other fantasy based games. The story revolves around a boy named Grant and a talking winged lizard named Vern, lived in Zinkenstil, an island which yields mysteries. One day, they came across a very empowered female warrior, Catalina, and a girl named Lyria. They have escaped from the Earth's Empire, a military government that is trying to rule over the world using powerful military prowess. In order to escape from the Empire, Grant, Lyria, and Catalina head out into the vast skies where the series adventures and overall stories take place. Gran, like most fantasy heroes, pledges himself to Lyria. He also has another story arc that is induced by a letter his father left behind, which said, I will be waiting at Estalusia, Island of Stars. The series has a wonderful color palette and fantastic overall designs both with characters and backgrounds. The story is a bit generic of the fantasy story. Boy needs to help the young girl and be the hero that he has always meant to have been for the story to complete. But this anime has much more going for it. Once a lieutenant of the Empire, the character of Catalina is a breathtaking warrior that shines really well on her own. The action and swordplay scenes with her are fast and realistic and she has a marvelous presence when she's on screen. Animated by A1 Pictures, the same studio that created animes, Sword Art Online, Magi, The Kingdom of Magic, and Black Butler. The animation is very well presented. The series also includes dragons, magic, and many greatly designed airships that are reminiscent of some of the delightful Final Fantasy airships. And cosplayers get ready, the character outfit designs will blow you away. As the series progresses, Gran and his friends meet up with some more interesting casts like Rackham, Soaring through the skydoms of the airship Grand Cipher, Rackham made a name for himself as a skilled helmsman before an accident caused him to swear off the skies forever. His encounter with our main heroes leads him to take the helm once more and become a steadfast ally. Drang, unflappable free spirit traveling alongside Sturm. Drang might give you the impression of being upbeat and affectionate, but it's all an act. He makes his foes let down their guard after which he'll unleash one of the countless schemes sneering behind his smiling face. Io Eclaws, a young lass who loathes being treated like a child, Io encounters and eventually joins the group while in search of her master, who vanished in the vault's duchy. Io is persistent and refuses to give up in the face of adversity, but she's a little inflexible too. As you might guess from the way she bristles at being treated like a child, she can't wait until she's all grown up. Sturm, a no-nonsense swordsman, charged with Drang's protection. Sturm lives her life by the sword. She rarely shows interest in other more trifling matters unless she feels her personal code has been violated. If that ever happens, you better watch out. Eugene. A veteran soldier racked with remorse, Eugene once traveled the skies alongside Rackham as a skyfarer, but has since returned to his home on the Augusti Isles. Rosetta. A mysterious beauty who suddenly appears during your travels. Rosetta seems to know the truth about many mysteries pertinent to the quest. Despite that, she often speaks in generalities and largely acts as a mere bystander. And so many more characters that are full of their own stories and agendas. If you're not a big fan of the fantasy type role playing, the series is really well made and keeps you watching with the vast world of beauty. It does have some blood spilled and deserves the PG-13 rating, but most of the violence is done in as more glamorous and dramatic way. 
so no gore. If you are a fan of anime series like Magi and Rage of Bahama, you will love this series. Well, that's our review on the series. Please let us know your thoughts on it, and if you've seen it, what you liked about it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to us to get even more videos. And be sure to check out the Otaku Social Network website, where you can meet new friends and chat. 